Allah Azza wa commands the angels to record the good deeds of a, one good deed for this guy. And they say he didn't do anything. Allah says he intended to do an evil and he stopped. So record a good deed. So the, do they know the intention? No, but they know the, the deed itself. And what's this beautiful in the Qur'an? They know the deed. On the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa describes this person who comes with these deeds. We come forward with whatever deeds they had done. Meaning the angels had recorded them. He was like, this is on my record. But did Allah know that these deeds were done with bad intentions? So, فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا We turn it into scattered dust. Allah destroys those deeds. He thinks he has something. So they record, yes. But is there even a better recorder? Even than, than the angels? Subhanallah. So in another place in the Quran, Allah says, Wallahu khayrun hafidhan. Subhanallah. They're hafidhin. Allah says, Allah is even better a hafidh. Once these guys are recording, and this audit is taking place, either you owe, or you're in the clear. Right? Either you pay, or you get paid. That's it. There's no walking away with no obligations. There's, there's none of that. So now here, إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ لَفِي نَعِيمٍ There's no doubt about it. The righteous will be in bliss. There's a few things about the language of this ayah we have to pay attention to. The one who hasn't attained righteousness is out in the sea. He's unstable. He could drown. He's in danger. And the one who's attained righteousness, who's doing good deeds, is like the one who's on firm, solid footing. He's on land. He's not in, he's not in danger. Right? So, إِنَّ الْأَبْرَارَ لَفِي نَعِيمٍ and then he speaks on the other side, وَإِنَّ الْفُجَّارَ لَفِي جَحِيمٍ Fujar, those who explode with sins. Those who don't care about the consequences of what they do. They're outgoing, they're bursting out in rebellion against Allah. These are the fujar. May Allah save us from them and not make us from them. So, وَإِنَّ الْفُجَّارَ لَفِي جَحِيمٍ No doubt about it, they are in jahim, Meaning their fate is sealed. Now, you would, you would ask, why would Allah seal their fate? Because this is also Jumla Ismiyah. Now just to help you understand this in simpler terms, you have in the Qur'an the word Al-Mu'minun. Al-Mu'minun. Then you have the phrase al Amanu. Al-Mu'minun means believers. al Amanu means those who believed. But al Amanu is verbal. It's a verb form. And Al-Mu'minun is a noun form. The diff- there's a difference between them. They're not the same thing. When Allah uses the noun, He's talking about someone who's matured and become permanently you know, stable. In a certain state. So understand, Al-Fujar are those who are bent upon this rebellion. They didn't just rebel one or, once or twice and Allah sealed their fate and they're in he- hellfire. They have now decided this is their life. They've made a commitment to Fujur. So these people, Allah says, if they've made their commitment, we made our commitment too. And the previous Allah said, where are you headed? And if you deny this truth, if you don't take responsibility, these people will be cast into it. They will be, it's not even, actually I shouldn't have translated it like that because it sounds passive when I translate it like that. Yaslawunaha, they will enter upon it, stumble into it, trip into it. Okay? Salyun, it's a difficult word to pronounce in Arabic, but it's, it's used when you trip into something. Or you go somewhere where you don't want to go, but you go on your own anyway. Right? You're reluctant to go, but you go. And you, so it's almost like you're forcing yourself to go. They will be cast, they'll, they'll cast themselves into it literally.